14.1.4. We're going to see if it can get out of the driveway as well as get us to target. So when the street is wet, I have found that it often will struggle actually getting onto the drive onto the road from the driveway. I don't know if it just sees its reflection in the ground or what. And it is hesitating a lot. We are going the wrong direction, backing out the wrong direction. But that's okay. All right. Interesting. It decided to take us into the cul-de-sac. <laughs> and I guess turn around. <clears throat> and that's how it's going to get out. Well, it did actually back out into the road. So that is good. However, obviously not the most efficient way to do it. We could have just uh, backed out to the left. And then we would have been able to easily go the correct direction. But... Now it's going to do so anyway. So that works. Yeah, so I have noticed, it, especially when it's raining, it's not raining right now, but it was raining earlier, so the street is wet. And <clears throat> FSD has a hard time backing out onto the street. We do have a steep driveway, and I, I don't know if it just sees its reflection in the ground or whatever, but typically it will trigger the... Uh, you know, um, the warnings that you're about to hit something when it's trying to get out of the driveway. So it's interesting because when it's dry, it doesn't, it doesn't have a problem, but when it's wet, it has that problem. So <clears throat> thankfully it was able to at least do it, even though it wasn't super efficient about doing so today. Okay. I actually don't know because of this uh, toy box. So let's see. Yep. Target. Yeah, I don't know if it was actually going to go to target. Okay, we have a pedestrian. Gives them plenty of space. Still, to me, it's a little weird that it does signal around cars and pedestrians that it's going around. Not a problem, but it is weird. It's unnecessary, I should say. <clears throat> so, we've had 14.1.4 for a few drives now. I did get 14.1.4 later than it seems the initial wide rollout of it, but I've had it for a few drives and it is less jittery, does have less brake stabbing or stuttering or whatever you want to call it than 1.3 did, but it's definitely still there. It's definitely still got those situations where it has hesitancy and it will start stop a few times in situations especially around pedestrians and at like right on red stoplights i've noticed it has it'll do a lot of that so still not smooth like we would expect 13 to be but uh it's it's getting better it's getting better at least i can see an improvement between 1.3 and 1.4 but Still not smooth like 13 was. So I do have it on sloth. I'm going to go ahead and bump it up to standard. So it's not going super slow. Does this U-turn? Perfect time. Plenty of room there. I 
So I'm pretty surprised that we actually slowed down that much for them turning. We had an open lane to our left. I would have expected it to go around them. We slowed all the way down to 30 miles per hour. Uh, I mean, I'm okay with that because I'm, we're supposed to be in the right lane to turn right up ahead, but we still have over half a mile before we need to turn. So I'm kind of surprised it didn't go around that person turning. Probably if it was in Mad Max, it would have for sure passed them. But I don't like Mad Max when we don't have a lot of cars in front of us because it will go well over the speed limit, much, much over the speed limit further than I would be willing to go. Standard gives us about 10, 10% over 10 to 15% over the speed limit. That's a pretty good, pretty good range. So standard, I mean, as it turns out, the medium uh, setting is the best one. Okay, now it did like, it started to get over and then it immediately like kind of jarringly switched back and then it went ahead and did the lane change. So I don't know if that was because of the construction. There's, there's some little construction cones back there, construction barrels but they weren't in the lane, so I don't know why it did that. See, now on this street, it immediately gets over when somebody's turning right there. It does that every time. Yep, so it's, it's, it's almost like it has different behaviors on different roads based on, like, this is a, technically a highway, and... The other street was not, so I don't know. Maybe that's the difference. Still has the same speed limit, 45 miles per hour, and it still has a median. So I wouldn't think that there's any difference, but it did behave differently. We do ultimately need to be in the right lane again on this road. So it's going to have to decide whether it's going to be in front of this camper here, this trailer, or if it's going to be behind them. And we don't have a whole lot of room here in front of them, so. Yep, so I'm not sure what it's going to do here. 20 miles, we'll see. Now this is, on version 13, we did have a situation where it actually tried to turn uh, from the wrong spot. So it would get into the turn lane, but then it tried to cross an intersection from a turn only lane. So we'll have to see if it's gonna do that again. If it does, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to disengage it because that was a problem last time. Hopefully it just, uh, yeah, so it's still the same navigation that it was on 13, but hopefully it does not get into the turn lane too early. All right, so here's the turn lane. It's turn only. Nice. So it's not getting over there. So that problem from 13 it's not doing that here. So that's great. I mean, because that's turn only lane. If it gets in there, it cannot go straight across. But on version 13, it got in that turn only lane and then it tried to go straight across where there's a bunch of white lines that clearly indicate you're not supposed to go. There's nothing, there's no sign that says that's a turn only, I guess, other than the painting on the ground, but the arrows on the ground clearly do show that it's a turn lane. And then the lines across the intersection clearly indicate that you're not supposed to do that. So, so yeah. Okay, this is good. This is where we're supposed to turn. And working out good. So let's see where it decides to park now in the Target parking lot. It is supposed to park. 
we don't have a choice of which parking spot we get to park in. Hopefully it chooses not a uh, pickup spot or a, oh, they flashed their lights at us. Yeah, we definitely waited a long time at that stop sign, but that's okay. Uh, but yeah, hopefully it does, we don't go in a curbside space or a handicap space. I would be happy with any space outside of that. There's actually a space right there. It's like really close up front. And it's going to let every pedestrian go. <laughs> uh, I would have let them wait personally because we already waited for a few pedestrians, but that's okay. Super courteous. Um, there's a parking spot right there, really close. Um, uh, looks like it's going to back into a space here right next to where the... Uh, Right next to where the carts are parked. Definitely would not be my choice. I don't like to park right next to where the uh, shopping carts are <laughs> returned. Uh, but it does a very good job on two attempts and backs into the space. So a good parking job and uh, successful no intervention, no disengagement. So that was a good, very good drive. And actually, I didn't see any stuttering um, on that drive at all. So we just had the one weird situation where it got out of the driveway the wrong direction. Had to turn around in a cul-de-sac to go. But other than that, perfect drive. So yeah, I'm really liking 14.1.4. I really hope uh, we get all of those brake stutters out of the way on 14.2. And then 14 is going to be an amazing version of FSD where basically almost never have to interact with it. So anyway, that's it for this one. Thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.